What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Pops. And Dad, what are we making today? Today we are making tandoori chicken pasta. Ooh, that sounds good. Let's get started. These are the ingredients we are using for today's recipe. Chicken, pasta, meat, cheese, mayonnaise, yogurt, tomato, sauce, olive oil, cumin, coriander, paprika, parmesan cheese, garlic, salt, onion. We'll be cooking this recipe in two parts. First we'll make chicken and later we'll make pasta and then combine them. So we'll start with making tandoori sauce. We'll start with putting mayo, and then put yogurt, tomato sauce, put part of olive oil here, next we'll put cumin, coriander powder, paprika, and we'll blend this down. One item I left out was salt, so I'm going to add half the salt will go here. And I'm going to blend it again properly. I'm going to preheat the oven at 350 degrees. Now I'll put some oil in this pan and then I'm going to dip chicken drumsticks in the sauce and then put them in and then I'll put in the oven for baking. In this recipe we are using two pounds of uh, ch chicken drumsticks and they are 10 pieces. Dip it nicely so that the sauce sticks to it. Oven is now at 350 degrees, all preheated. Now I am going to put the chicken in the oven. Now the chicken is in the oven. We'll leave it for 45 minutes and it should be ready by then. Chicken has been baking for about 20 minutes and now we are going to start our pasta. I've filled up water in this and I'm going to put it on high heat and put some salt in it. And once it comes to boil then we'll put our pasta in it and boil it for about 15 extra minutes. And now we are going to prepare the tandoori sauce for pasta and we'll start with medium high heat. Put the rest of our, the oil in it let it come to high heat and then I'll put onion and garlic in it and roast it. The oil is now hot and I'm going to introduce onion in it. I'm going to cook the onion for a while, about 3 minutes or 4 minutes and then I'll put garlic in it. Keep stirring the onion so it doesn't burn on one side and it's equally cooked. Now the onion is partly cooked and then we are going to introduce garlic in it. We'll let it roast. After about three minutes, I put the garlic in, and um, now it's almost ready. To, it's a, it took about two extra minutes to do this, so totally it took about five minutes. This is how it looks ready. Now we'll put our sauce in it and put some water in it. Just to wash it out, and uh, this will blend it nice. I'm going to reduce the heat so it will cook slowly and simmer about three. We have simmered it for about extra three minutes, and it looks pretty good now. Water has started to boil right now, and I'm going to add this pasta in it. Just keep stirring. Uh, so that it does, doesn't stick at the bottom from time to time. This will cook in about 15 minutes. So it's 45 minutes, I'm going to shut the oven now and take out the chicken and keep it there. So you can see the chicken is nicely cooked. You can see the bones here. Once you see the bones, that is it's cooked nicely. So I'm going to scrape out all this tasty sauce, mix it with the rest of the sauce here. This is where 
and all the taste is. I'm going to it here. I'm going to mix it up here with the other sauce. It's been 15 minutes and the pasta is all ready to go. Okay, now I'm going to debone all this chicken for the pasta. Now we have separated all the chicken from the bone and this is how it looks. So I'm going to take part of the water in the sink and I'll drain part of it in this bowl. You can see pasta is nicely, nice and fluffy and big. It's cooked well. So I'll take this and put it in the big bowl. We have the pasta all cooked up, we have chicken ready, I'm going to put chicken now. We have the sauce which is ready now and I'm going to add the sauce to it and then we'll blend it nicely. Now we add parmesan cheese. And mix it up nice. And the last thing is we put chopped mints. And when we plate this, we'll put mozzarella on top. This is our finished product. Tandoori chicken pasta. Until next time.